Am I a God at hand, saith the Lord, and not a God afar off? Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him, saith the Lord? Do not I fill heaven and earth, saith the Lord? I have heard what the prophets said, that prophesy lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart, which think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams, which they tell every man to his neighbor, as their fathers have forgotten my name for Baal. The prophet that hath a dream, let him tell a dream, and he that hath my word, let him speak my word faithfully. What is the chaff to the wheat, saith the Lord? Is not my word like as a fire, saith the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces? Israelites, as the spirit realm and spiritual warfare series continue, remain vigilant in your walk. The workers of iniquity and the Satans hate when your knowledge increase. They have to work harder to deceive you. They can't deceive anyone who knows the truth. The scripture said the truth shall make you free. Israelites, put on the whole armor of the Most High to stand against their wickedness. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Israelites, there's a lot more I can share about witchcraft and idolatry. The subject of witchcraft and idolatry is complex, and this subject needs a series of its own. The world we live in operates under witchcraft and idolatry. I hope the wisdom the Most High shared with his people via the Spirit Realm series has increased your knowledge about witchcraft and idolatry in the beast culture. Israelites, always go to the Most High for additional information and for confirmation. Make it a habit to go to the Father for everything that you need and want to know. The Most High want His people to come to Him first for everything. The Most High don't want you to seek the idols of the heathens or the workers of iniquity. Our nation ceased from being a nation because of the sin of idolatry. Let us be the generation that put an end to the spirit of idolatry in our nation. Let us seek our God the way the Holy Spirit is directing our path. The time has come for us to let go of the heathen's influence in our lives and let the Most High become our teacher through the Holy Spirit. But there shall be a day that the watchman upon the Mount Ephraim shall cry, Arise ye, and let us go up to Zion unto the Lord our God. And many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob. And he will teach us of his ways. And we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. So far in the spirit realm and spiritual warfare series, you've learned about the different types of spirits, the hidden covenants, recognizing a spiritual victory and how to recognize a spiritual attack. You found out about the evil altars the heathens have all over the beast system. You learn who are the workers of iniquity. You discover that witchcraft and idolatry runs the beast culture and religion. Israelites, we are now moving into decoding the symbols you see in the spirit realm. Israelites, it's very important for you to comprehend that no one can interpret your dreams. Only the Most High can interpret your dreams. The Most High will select one of his anointed to give you the interpretation and meaning to what you saw in the spirit realm. The Bible give us several examples that can help us with our dreams and visions. The first example I will share with you to help with your understanding is when King Nebuchadnezzar had two dreams and he forgot the dreams. Israelites, it's very common for you to forget your dreams once you wake up. This happens to all of us. King Nebuchadnezzar desperately wanted to know the meaning to his dreams because his spirit was disturbed. The king asked the workers of iniquity to give him the interpretation. The workers of iniquity couldn't give the king the interpretation to his dreams unless the king revealed to the workers of iniquity of what he saw in his dreams. When the workers of iniquity were unable to give the king the interpretation, King Nebuchadnezzar issued a decree to kill all the wise men in Babylon. 
But if ye will not make known unto me the dream, there is but one decree for you. For ye have prepared lying and corrupt words to speak before me, till the time be changed. Therefore tell me the dream, and I shall know that ye can show me the interpretation thereof. The Chaldeans answered before the king and said, There is not a man upon the earth that can show the king's matter. Therefore there is no king, lord, nor ruler that asked such things at any magician or astrologer or Chaldean. And it is a rare thing that the king requireth, and there is none other that can show it before the king except the gods, whose dwelling is not with flesh. For this cause the king was angry and very furious, and commanded to destroy all the wise men of Babylon. The workers of iniquity couldn't interpret the king's dreams unless the king told them what he saw. Israelites, this is why I repeatedly say not to share your dreams in the comment section. A lot of workers of iniquity watch this channel and they will use familiar spirits to interpret your dreams. If the workers of iniquity find something that interests them about you, they will attack you. Some dreams and visions are meant to be private. I know we are living at a time where oversharing is normal. When it comes to your spiritual journey, the less they know about you, the better. Keep the door to your mouth shut. Trust ye not in a friend. Put ye not confidence in a guide. Keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lieth in thy bosom. Israelites, it's very important that you don't talk too much about your spiritual journey with a lot of people. Revealing to others what the Most High is showing you about your life is equivalent to putting your bank account number and balance on display for all to see. Telling everyone about what the Most High is doing for you is like putting your medical records on display, as well as telling your enemy your deepest secrets and your next move. Witches and warlocks love when you overshare. Your dreams reveal a lot about you. If your spirit is malnourished, your dreams will reveal it. That is why you have to be careful. Israelites, you live in the land of your captivity. Beware of your enemies, the visible and the invisible powers that work against you. We also live in a time where many hunger and thirst for money and fame. They will do anything to achieve their heart's desire. Some people will go as far as to overshare and destroy their community to reach their goal. When it comes to your spiritual journey, it's best that you limit the amount of people you confide in, draw near to the most high. You can't go wrong with putting your trust in the Most High. Praying is having a conversation with the Most High. If you need someone, talk to the Most High instead of oversharing on social media. Daniel and his friends were among the list of people whose lives was threatened with death by King Nebuchadnezzar if they couldn't interpret his dreams. And the decree went forth that the wise men should be slain. And they sought Daniel and his fellows to be slain. When Daniel found out about the king's decree, Daniel did not rely on himself and his own wisdom to interpret the dreams. Daniel asked the king to give him some time to find the interpretation. While his request was granted, Daniel humbled himself and asked his friends to join him in seeking the Most High to get the meaning to the king's dreams. After Daniel and his friends humbled themselves, the Most High sent Daniel the interpretation via a vision in the spirit realm. Then Daniel went to his house and made the thing known to Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, his companions, that they would desire mercies of the God of heaven concerning the secret that Daniel and his fellows should not perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. Then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. Then Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Israelites, do you recognize the patterns when it comes to getting answers and results from the Most High? As you heard in the scriptures, Daniel and his friends prayed and seek the Most High. They wanted mercy and protection from the judgment decreed against them. They prayed to the Most High to get mercies and asked the Most High for protection. They didn't want to perish along with all the wise men in Babylon. After Daniel finished praying, fasting, and seeking the face of the Most High, the Most High revealed to Daniel the interpretation by a vision in the spirit realm. The scriptures did not say Daniel became upset and protested the king's decree. The scriptures did not say Daniel pleaded for his life with the king's guards. The scriptures did not say Daniel went to church and asked the members of his church to pray for him. 
The scriptures did not say Daniel scouted the internet for answers. Daniel did not phone a friend. Daniel did not gossip to the entire neighborhood about the sudden warfare he was up against. Daniel did not make it known publicly of the trials and tribulations he was up against. Daniel and his friends humbled themselves before the Most High and asked the Most High for help and protection. We see this throughout the scriptures of our ancestors humbling themselves, fasting and praying to get help from the Most High to overcome a difficult situation. Today, our people have imitated the heathen's way of dealing with trials and tribulations, and majority of you are expecting the same result our ancestors received when they humbled themselves before the Most High. And when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushments against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, which were come against Judah, and they were smitten. But the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir, utterly to slay and destroy them. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, every one helped to destroy another. King Jehoshaphat humbled himself and all of Judah followed him and humbled themselves. Once the Most High accepted their sacrifice, he intervened and destroyed our ancestors' enemies. Every time our ancestors in the scriptures humbled themselves and seek the most high, they were victorious over their enemies. Today, you're told to wait on Jesus and to protest. The indigenous black people have been protesting and waiting on Jesus for multiple generations and their conditions remain the same. The time has come for you to recognize the patterns that work for our people. Daniel had to seek the most high to get the interpretation to the king's dreams. Only the Most High can allow you to see the dreams and visions of other people. Anyone who proclaim that they can interpret your dreams without the Most High giving them the ability to do so are using dark powers. They are workers of iniquity using familiar spirits to decode your dreams. The most popular way familiar spirits are operating in the beast culture, familiar spirits are disguising themselves as the Holy Ghost. Israelites, don't be deceived by Satan's ministers disguising themselves as ministers of righteousness. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. After Daniel fasted and prayed, the Most High gave him the meaning to the dreams. Israelites, this is why I always encourage you to go to the Father first. The Father will give you the answers. If the Most High doesn't give you the answer directly, he will lead you to one of his anointed with the answers. When you're led to the anointed person, don't think that person have all the answers to all your dreams and visions. The Most High may use that person one time or multiple times to help with your understanding. You should always go to the Most High first and the Father will direct your path. An example, if this channel shows up on your timeline, the Most High has led you here because this channel is highly censored. I asked the Most High to send the remnant only, no one else. The focus of this channel is quality, not quantity. Narrow is the road that leads to life and only a few will find the road. You can do a lot with quality people. You can't do much with a large quantity that have no knowledge. The Most High had to cut down Gideon's large army from thousands to three hundred. The Most High only need a few. And the Lord said unto Gideon, The people that are with thee are too many for me to give the Midianites into their hands, lest Israel vaunt themselves against me, saying, Mine own hand hath saved me. And the Lord said unto Gideon, By the three hundred men that lapped will I save you, and deliver the Midianites into thine hand. And let all the other people go, every man, unto his place. In the example of King Nebuchadnezzar, the Most High allowed his anointed Daniel to see what the king saw in the spirit realm. Not only did the Most High allow Daniel to see the exact dreams, the Most High gave Daniel the interpretation to the dreams. The workers of iniquity the king sought out to give him the interpretation were unable to interpret the dreams, nor were they able to recall the dreams to the king. Israelites, it's important for you to understand that the dark powers the workers of iniquity use from the Satans is not equal to the Most High's power. The Satans can make themselves appear to be greater than they are. Also, the Satans can imitate the power of the Most High to deceive. However, they're nowhere near the sovereignty of the Father. 
nor do they know everything. Remember when the workers of iniquity of Mizraim imitated the miracles the Most High did via Moses and Aaron? The power behind Moses and Aaron overcame the dark powers of the workers of iniquity Pharaoh used to compete with Moses and Aaron. And Moses and Aaron went in unto Pharaoh, and they did so as the Lord had commanded. And Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants, and it became a serpent. Then Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers. Now the magicians of Egypt they also did in like manner with their enchantments. For they cast down every man his rod, and they became serpents. But Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods. The Satans make themselves appear to be greater than they truly are because they don't want the people to find out about the great authority they have over the Satans when they serve the Most High. The Satans imitate the Most High to deceive the masses into believing they have all this power. The Satans cannot compete with the army of the Most High. The Satans have been defeated. The Satans don't want you to know that they have been defeated and their fate is sealed. The Satans prowl around looking for people to bring into the lake of fire with them. Israelites, you have to use discernment. The Satans have to make themselves appear to be greater to deceive you into worshiping and serving them. Don't trade your glory for the lesser. Hath a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods? But my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. The next example I want to use to show you that only the Most High can give you the interpretation to your dreams and visions come from Joseph, the son of Jacob. After Joseph was sold into slavery by his brothers, the Most High used Joseph significantly to prepare for the growth of the Israelite nation in Mizraim, as well as helping the other nations survive the seven-year famine. Besides the great calling the Most High placed on Joseph's life, the Most High gave Joseph the gift of interpreting dreams and visions. Despite Joseph having the gift to interpret dreams and visions, the Most High has to give Joseph understanding in order for him to interpret the dreams. Israelites, it's very important that you understand that despite having gifts and talents, it's the Most High that is behind the scenes doing the good work in you. You may have the gift and talent, however, it's the most high operating in you that give you the ability to use your gifts and talents properly. The most high is the one that does the good work in us. Never forget that. For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. A lot of Israelites make the mistake of taking credit for the most high's work. A good example is the awakening. There's a lot of people taking credit for waking up the people of the Most High. Some Israelites believe the reason they have wisdom and understanding is due to them studying to show themselves approved. Some Israelites actually believe they are the ones saving lives in the awakening. If you're not careful, that is how the spirit of pride comes to destroy you. Wisdom and understanding comes from the Most High. If the Most High don't send the spirit of wisdom into the world to give you true wisdom, you will lack wisdom. If the Holy Spirit don't reveal truth and tell you what is coming, you won't know a thing. If the Most High don't open up the scriptures to give you understanding, you can read the scriptures repeatedly and comprehend nothing. False doctrines are the results of people using the wisdom of this world to decode what is spiritual. The awakening is plagued with false doctrines due to Israelites using the wisdom of this world to decode the sealed scriptures. Israelites, don't you know the wisdom of this world is foolishness in the sight of the Most High? Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool, that he may be wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Israelites, the time has come for you to humble yourselves. You need to know that it's the most high that does the good work in you. Everyone that is blessed by this channel needs to understand that it's the Holy Spirit operating in me that is revealing the truth to you. It's not because I'm wise and I study to show myself approved. My studying consists of me praying and listening to the Father reveal to me everything he wants his people to know. I made myself available to the Most High so that he can show himself strong through me. The scriptures reveal that the Most High searched throughout the earth looking for people he can show himself strong through. 
for the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. Herein thou hast done foolishly, therefore, from henceforth, thou shalt have wars. All the glory and praises belong to the Father. So all the people who admire the wisdom I possess, all the truth you're learning on this channel comes from the Father. I'm just the vessel he is using to reach his people. If you're prideful, the Most High cannot use you. The scripture said pride comes before the fall. A lot of people are extremely prideful in the awakening. The word of the Most High call for the people of the Most High to humble themselves. Anyone who knows the Father and serve the Father should understand this one thing. The Most High will not share his glory and praises with anyone. Did you hear me? The Most High will not share his glory with anyone. I am the Lord. That is my name. And my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Israelites, give the Most High all his praises. Behind the scenes, the Most High is doing the work in the people he has called. Joseph, the son of Jacob, understood this fully. When Joseph learned that the reason the baker and the butler's spirit was sad was due to them not having anyone to interpret their dreams, Joseph said to the baker and butler, don't you know that the interpretation belonged to the Most High? Despite Joseph having the gift to interpret dreams, Joseph gave the Most High credit and glory for giving him the ability to interpret dreams. And they said unto him, We have dreamed a dream, and there is no interpreter of it. And Joseph said unto them, Do not interpretations belong to God? Tell me them, I pray you. If the Most High doesn't give Joseph the meaning, he won't be able to interpret the dreams. The butler and the baker remembered their dreams. Therefore, all they had to do was tell Joseph the dream, and Joseph can begin to interpret their dreams. And the chief butler told his dream to Joseph, and said to him, In my dream, behold, a vine was before me. And in the vine were three branches, and it was as though it budded, and her blossoms shot forth and the clusters thereof brought forth ripe grapes. And Pharaoh's cup was in my hand, and I took the grapes and pressed them into Pharaoh's cup, and I gave the cup into Pharaoh's hand. And Joseph said unto him, This is the interpretation of it. Three branches are three days, yet within three days shall Pharaoh lift up thine head and restore thee unto thy place and thou shalt deliver Pharaoh's cup into his hand, after the formal manner when thou wast his butler. In the example of King Nebuchadnezzar, he needed someone to recall his dreams to him as well as to give him the meaning to his dreams. The butler and the baker both remembered their dreams. They needed Joseph to interpret their dreams. In both scenarios, the Most High had to give Joseph and Daniel understanding before they could decode the dreams. In order for the workers of iniquity to decode dreams, you have to tell them what you saw. The scriptures reveal that the workers of iniquity couldn't recall the king's dreams for him. The workers of iniquity said to the king, no one is able to do that. The workers of iniquity knew and understand that only the Most High is capable of doing what he asked of them. The Chaldeans answered before the king and said, There is not a man upon the earth that can show the king's matter. Therefore there is no king, lord, nor ruler that asked such things at any magician or astrologer or Chaldean. And it is a rare thing that the king requireth. And there is none other that can show it before the king except the gods whose dwelling is not with flesh. Israelites, stop forsaking the Most High for the gods of the heathens. Their gods are useless to you. When it comes to the Most High, he can do anything. The Most High allowed Daniel to see the dream the king had. When the workers of iniquity gather information from you about your dreams, the workers of iniquity will use familiar spirits to get the meaning to the dreams. Israelites, this is why I say don't share your dreams in the comment section or on any public platform. Your dreams are truly sensitive information. The workers of iniquity will use everything you make available against you. Now that you know only the Most High can decode your dreams, stop looking to other people to interpret your dreams for you. If you want to know, Ask the Most High and he will reveal it to you. 
the Most High will give you wisdom and understanding about the spirit realm. Some people have not because they ask not. He lust and have not. He kill and desire to have and cannot obtain. He fight and war, yet he have not because he ask not. Religion disabled a lot of people. The awakening is here to wake up the people of the Most High. You have to take an active role in your deliverance and salvation. No one can work out your salvation for you. The time has come for you to trust the Most High and lean not to your own understanding. Israelites, you need to know the language of the spirit realm. The spirit realm and the physical realm are governed by the laws of the Most High. When it comes to communication, the spirit realm use symbols while the physical realm use words and language. In the physical realm, we communicate by talking and speaking our thoughts and desires. When it comes to the spirit realm, the form of communication is symbols. This is why you must decode the symbols you see in the spirit realm. For example, in the physical realm, when it comes to wealth, we think about money, power, and material wealth. In the spirit realm, the symbols that represents wealth and prosperity is milk, honey, and bread. Milk, honey, and bread are not the only symbols that symbolizes wealth in the spirit realm. The reason milk, bread, and honey can symbolize wealth in the spirit realm, the word of the Most High often compare prosperity in the scriptures with milk, bread, and honey. Remember when the Most High gave the Israelites the promised land? The Most High described the promised land as a land flowing with milk and honey. And I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians, and to bring them up out of that land unto a good land and a large, unto a land flowing with milk and honey, unto the place of the Canaanites, and the Hittites, and the Amorites, and the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites. Some of us have had bizarre dreams. At times, you can't comprehend why you're engaging in activities you wouldn't participate in the physical realm. Let's say you hate honey. You dislike the taste of honey and the smell. One day, you dream that you're eating honey and it tastes really good. Most people would ignore the dream, or some people would wonder why they're eating honey when they dislike honey. Honey in the spirit realm doesn't have the same meaning and symbol in the physical realm. In order to decode the symbols you see in the spirit realm, you must use the word of the Most High. In the physical realm, none of us would use milk, honey, and bread to describe increase or wealth. In the spirit realm, milk, bread, and honey can symbolize riches and wealth. And they told him and said, We came unto the land whither thou sentest us, and surely it floweth with milk and honey, and this is the fruit of it. The language of the spirit realm and the physical realm are very different. Israelites, that is why you must understand that the symbols you see in the spirit realm often doesn't have the same meaning in the physical realm. Because the meaning are very different, majority of your dreams are not literal. Buying a house in the spirit realm doesn't mean you're going to buy a house in the physical realm. Getting shot at in the spirit realm doesn't mean someone's going to shoot you in the physical realm. You have to decode the symbols by using the word of the Most High. A lot of dreams and visions are misinterpreted in this generation. I've seen people post videos sharing their dreams. Very often the dream consists of coming destruction. The person believed the dream is talking about the coming destructions of the nations. 99% of the time their dreams is not referencing destruction in the manner they perceive. Yes, it's written, the wrath of the Most High will come upon the nations. Not every dream of destruction symbolizes the wrath of the Most High upon the nations. This is why you must seek the Most High for the meaning and wait on the Most High to give you instructions. Israelites, you need to know majority of your dreams come from the Satans. The kingdom of darkness give you these dreams to establish covenants. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, let not your prophets and your diviners that be in the midst of you deceive you, neither hearken to your dreams which ye cause to be dreamed. For they prophesy falsely unto you in my name. I have not sent them, saith the Lord. Israelites, you must differentiate dreams that come from the kingdom of darkness, dreams you give to yourself, and dreams that come from the Most High. Some people are quick to post prophetic dreams they believe the Most High gave to them on social media. 
In actuality, the dream is from the Satans seeking a covenant. Dreams of destruction doesn't often mean the end of a nation or the end is near. Some of these dreams can symbolize destruction in your personal life or something you're engaged in that will bring destruction to the people around you. You truly have to spend time in the presence of the Most High to get understanding to your dreams and visions. Don't post or share anything unless you get confirmation from the Father. When you share these dreams and misinterpret the dreams, not only are you establishing a covenant, you're giving the workers of iniquity insight into your life. Only share what the Most High gave you approval to share. The scripture said, in the last days you will prophesy and dream dreams. And it shall come to pass, in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Israelites, let the Most High give you instructions on what to do with the dreams and visions he gave to you in the last days. When it comes to decoding the symbols, everything you see in the spirit realm matters. The weather conditions, if it's raining or sunny, the colors you see, the people you're interacting with or standing around, their facial expressions, every object you see from food, animals, or a tree symbolizes something. Israelites, that is why you're in the best position to decode the symbols you see in the spirit realm. I recommend that you keep a dream notebook to remember your dreams. When the Most High give you understanding to your dreams, keeping a dream book will help you decode the symbols you see in the spirit realm in the future. Israelites, the spirit realm is very complex. You're not going to learn everything overnight. It will take time for your knowledge to increase. In due time, you will have enough understanding with the help of the Father to understand the spirit realm. Israelites, beware. When your knowledge increases, the kingdom of darkness will use the spirit of confusion to be a snare to you. Remember, the spirit of confusion is not of the Most High. But God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. The Satans will use the spirit of confusion to make it difficult for you to decode your dreams, as well as to frustrate you to give up. Trust the Most High. He will help with your understanding. We will analyze several dreams in the scriptures to help you decode the symbols you see in the spirit realm. Israelites, this is what the scriptures meant when it said, walk in the spirit. Walking in the spirit opens your eyes to unfamiliar territories. When you walk in the spirit, you know what is happening behind the scenes. When you walk in the spirit, you can see the most high in all aspects of your life. When you walk in the spirit, you have to choose to serve the most high in the spirit and in truth. Walking in the spirit is not an easy task, especially when religion spoiled the people of the most high. The workers of iniquity misled the people into believing someone else can do all the work for you. Israelites, listen to the scriptures. Faith without works is dead. What doth it profit, my brethren, though a man say he hath faith and have not works? Can faith save him? Israelites, you have to do your part. Everything is difficult to learn in the beginning. Trust the Most High and He will direct your path. I had to go through it before the Most High used me to help you understand the ways the Satans and the workers of iniquity conspired against His people. Israelites, your spirit enters the spirit realm every time you sleep. We spend a good amount of time in the spirit realm. It's dangerous to spend time in a place that you have no knowledge of what is happening and how that place operates. Don't give the kingdom of darkness an advantage over you. The spirit realm is a major part of your life. Whatever happens there will manifest in the physical realm. It's in your best interest to increase your knowledge about the spirit realm. Don't let religious people tell you it's not important. The affairs of the Most High is always foolishness to them. Israelites, let them perish by themselves. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. The Most High is with you. The Father is ready to elevate you from glory to glory. I waited patiently for the Lord, and He inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of an horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and established my goings. And He hath put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. Many shall see it, and fear, and shall trust in the Lord. 
Blessed is that man that maketh the Lord his trust, and respecteth not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Many, O Lord my God, are thy wonderful works which thou hast done, and thy thoughts which are to us word, they cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered.